A short ride from Faison la Romaine is the Roman theater in Arrange. It sl- sounds like orange, but it's Arrange. On the way, you pass some more modern machinery of war. The theater was built in the beginning of the first century, and it's one of the best preserved stone theaters in Western Europe from Roman times. King Louis XIV called it the most beautiful wall in my entire kingdom. It seats about 9,000 people and is still used for performances today from rock concerts to opera. When you walk into these stone arenas, whether it's a theater or a coliseum or or anything like this, uh, you don't get a warm, fuzzy feeling of relaxation or comfort. It's hard and very stern, sort of like being in an old boy's private bank or club. You walk around these things and you think, damn, we won't go to a theater unless they got seats like living room chairs and recliners. These are stone seats and it does get chilly up here. So they gotta get a bit chilled on the buns. Note the wear on these steps. Much like today, the seating actually had a pecking order. The first row of seats were reserved for the equites or the knights. Merchants and Roman citizens took their seats in the middle rows. Now the highest row of seats, the ones furthest away from the stage, they were left to the prostitutes and slaves. Now, although not much has changed when it comes to privileged seating, I'm not sure about the prostitutes. Built under the reign of Emperor Augustus, the idea was to spread Roman culture. When Rome captured a place, whether through warfare or diplomacy, the reward was to make people citizens of Rome. Although there were certain privileges that came with that, you were still not one of the uh, in-crowd back-at-home base. But keeping the masses entertained was a good way to keep the population's mind off any ideas of political unrest. Not much has changed in 2,000 years, has it? The statues of the emperors had removable heads. This way, the only thing you needed to change was the head. The thin, godlike, commanding Posed bodies would stay the same while the faces would be different. God, things don't change very much. The theater was abandoned in the Middle Ages. Uh, Since the church thought that plays were too immoral, uh, the theater served as a defensive structure uh, during times of warfare and as a refuge for the population during those many wars over those many centuries.
There is a small museum across the street that has many of the artifacts that were dug up in the theater and in the surrounding area, as well as other items. I have no idea, don't ask. This is a monument to the soldiers of the American army who liberated Iraj in August of 1944. This triumphal arch dates from the first century AD. And then as we leave to go back to Vaison-le-Romain, we pass another implement of modern warfare. 